Ahom with Power BI, I'm Zahir Brim for Sigma BI. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to use the ArcGIS maps. Uh, now this is an alternative to the normal Bing maps that they have on Power BI. Um, and I'm going to be honest with you, there's quite a lot of functions that you can use with the ArcGIS maps. Um, I'll show you how to um, create a heat map and I also show you some of the problems that, you, that will occur uh, when trying to create one. Are you ready? Come take a look. Let's go. So the ArcGIS uh, map custom visual uh, in Power BI is separate to the map visual um, that Power BI uses with Bing. So I'm just going to show you how to use that and some of the common issues that occurs with ArcGIS and why it some of the functions don't work. So what I'm going to do is, first of all, is start creating that. So let's go to the ArcGIS maps for BI. So it's that one right at the bottom. As you can see in the visualization pane, so I'm going to click that and it's going to enlarge that for us. For us. Okay. So first of all, what we need to do is put the location in. So we can, if you have the long, long, longitude and latitude, uh, we're able to put it in these fields. But as I don't have that, um, I'm going to be using just the location. So I'm going to go to the country, select that. And then the next thing that you need to do is put that fields in this size. So if now I go to sales, sales, that now should trade the sales around the globe. So we, there are a number of options of what we can do with the ArcGIS maps with the layers. So if Previously, what you had to do was go up to the ellipses on the top right hand corner and go to edit. But now, because we've got this option bar uh, tab here, all we need to do is select that and then this, this gives us the options. Now, what I want to do is just show you um, how to change uh, the sort of theme of the map um, and the different colors that we can introduce. So first of all, I'm just going to show you the base map so if we select on that which is um, the fourth one down uh, we can change this to the dark color we can lighten it up with the road and we can do the street one too okay And then what we do have, we do have map features of layers. So what you want to do is, um, there are a few options of this, so I'm just going to show you how to do that. So if you click on this and you go to the ellipsis at the side of country or whatever the fields that you've added in there, select the layer options and go for symbology. Okay, so we select that. It's then going to give us different map themes. So we've got the size, which is the circles, or we can go for location only. Then we can do different fill types of colors. So if we say we can do it on a blue, we don't really want to do it on a blue because it blends in. But if we do, let's just say black, we can see in the sale. So what I'm going to do is just keep it, keep it the same as we had before uh, and the transparency. Now, one of the, the, the great features about ArcGIS is the heat map. Now, I've been playing around with this for, for the past half an hour and been thinking, what is going on? Why can I not get this heat map? So I've been doing some research and the heat, uh, the, the, the map theme um, using the heat sensor um, should be in here. It's not. And I've been, puz it's been puzzling me why and I've got down to... Uh, found out what the issue is. Okay, 
So when I selected um, the country, the location, I've obviously selected the country. So it's basically going on the countries, which, yeah, it's good. But if I wanted it to, to do within the cities, I need to put in the precise location. So a city will be more precise within these, uh, within the country. So I change that over and I'll show you. So if I take the country out and I put the city in, as you can see, so many dots now appear. So now I'm thinking, well, okay, that's good. <laughs> it's a good sign. So what I did then is go back to the layer list, go to the ellipsis at the top where the city is and go to symbology again. And there it gives me the option of the heat map. So if I now select the heat map, that gives me the heat map. There are a couple of others as well. The clustering, so you say, it's basically instead of spreading out, we're saying this area has this amount. So we're gonna now just zoom in. So we're gonna go to the the west coast where I've seen a lot of heat. So as you can see it's and this is where one of the hotspots are. So if we go go back to the layers we can here's where we can change colors so can do the zoom in on the layers but all in all we'll go back to the symbologies i'll just um, show you in terms of the location so that's that known so i'm just gonna zoom in and i think this just gives us a, a different option that what bing does it gives us uh, a few options in the heat map and kind of clustering them all, all the sales and across the country. And we can see now just by by viewing it this way, we can actually see exactly uh, where a lot of the sales are coming from. Um, so you can see a cluster here. So maybe the sales are, um, or the marketing there is a lot better than say somewhere around here uh, during mills. So this is, great way to analyze the data uh, and visualize it as well for you know uh, directors and managers to, to see where where the kind of business is, is coming from so if i looked at that now i'd be saying well okay um marketing uh, or um, my sales development team whoever it is uh, you could send that report and say well, well we're doing good on the east coast and the west coast but these central areas there's no good and you know down south here as well up north so there's it's a it's a great analytic, analytical tool to use with maps and it's it's kind of a it, it, it benefits you in, in more ways than others instead of um being visually appealing it actually can give a lot of information where you won't see just by going through the numbers And that, and the reason for that is, is I'm from the UK, so I know where Manchester, London, Birmingham, um, uh, Scotland, um, in Edinburgh, Glasgow. I know these kind of places in my head, so I know which kind of dire direction when somebody's talking. But if you're telling me um, I've got business in uh, America, the only places I know is is New York, so. <laughs> Um, apart from that, I don't know where anywhere else is. So if someone says, oh, in New York and say, um, let's have a look at uh, down here somewhere, like in Boston or somewhere. I don't know where that's going to, I don't know where that is. It's kind of like the, down the East Coast. So I know by viewing this, I'll be able to, to sort of visualize that and see, right, okay, oh, it's that, that's where it is. And that's where we're getting a lot of success. So there's some, plus points to using this and you know putting it into a report and I think ArcGIS I've got um, a, 
a good custom visual here for, for us to, to capitalize on. So that's how um, we use the ArcGIS um, custom visual, uh, the maps. Uh, I would recommend it, definitely. Uh, and I think they have they, they do update it on a regular basis too, so it's worth just keeping your eye on it. Well, that's how you use it. Um, that's how you troubleshoot it as well. Uh, if you have any comments or any um, questions by it, please leave it on the comment section or get in contact with me. Uh, and once again, just want to say thanks. Thank you guys uh, for watching. At Home with Power BI with me, Zaheer Raymond. Learn with us by subscribing to our channel to get updated on our latest videos.